what up what up we got another one so as you guys can see we got future in the building pluto <laughs> we got your boy future now when he first started there's a song he was on with some dude named yc it was called racks on racks on racks um no not the little pump song but It's interesting how that turned out because um, that song blew up. It did what it did. And Future later on was saying, oh, he wrote that song. That's my song. He was like, I just gave it to him. That's my song. And over time, you know, Future still got the new song out called Life is Good. That's, that shit's doing numbers. Um, I mean, does anybody know who YC is? We know YG, but... Does anybody know who YC is? So, based off that information, I I believe that Future wrote that song. But he wanted to see what it would do. And since he's seen it do numbers, the that Rack song came out in 2011. He decided to put his music out. And, you know, it did its thing. We got the first album, Future, or what's it called, Pluto? Pluto. I heard he come came from the, the Dungeon family with CeeLo, Big Boy, and um, that's how he learned his style. So let's go over the features and the singles. We got Big Group. See, the only new, the only other artist new artist that I see work with Big Rube is uh, Offset. Whenever I see that Big Rube intro, it, that 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 means that, that that artist knows about the Dungeon family or something. There's something, there's something about having that Big Rube intro. Because I don't think, because every, every time I see that Big Rube intro, it's just, the album is never trash. Though my hip hop heads know what the fuck I'm talking about, though. Uh, what else we got? We got Puff. We got Puffy. We got Luda. We got Kelly Rowland, Drake, T.I., Snoop Dogg, Juicy J, R. Kelly, and Trey. So, um, Future and Drake had a. There was a miscommunication between the two for the Tony Montana about the music video. I guess Future wanted Drake to be on the music video, and then Drake said something. I'm 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 paraphrasing based on what uh, Future is saying. Uh, Drake didn't have time or didn't want to be on the video, and Future felt slighted by that. But now you know Drake and Future are friends, like best friends. Seem like it. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over the singles. So the singles, <laughs> Tony Montana. Oh, and I, oh, man, I didn't like when Future came out, when Future first came out, and I don't want to make this personal, but when Future came out, I fucking hated that Tony Montana song. It just sounded like he was trying to stretch the fucking, the, the hook. The hook was annoying. Drake had the driest verse I ever heard. It, it didn't keep me up or any, the song was just... To me, this is probably his worst album. Um, Never End was cool. Turn On The Lights is my shit, though. I think there's other singles I just can't quite pinpoint them. Never End and um, Turn On The Lights is my shit, though. But Tony Montana, I did not like that song. And I used to hear that shit all the fucking time. I was like, oh, this dude. Okay, so we get his we we get to his second album, Honest. And this this is this shit was a lot better. There's no fucking Tony Montana bullshit. None of that shit. Let's go over this let's go over the features. We got Santi Gold. Pharrell, Pusha T, Casino, Wiz Khalifa, Kanye West, Drake, Young Scooter, Andre 3000, 
ยังโลงไหม Now the singles is I think T-shirt is single That dope is a single Honest is a single I won is a single Yeah I think just those four And Karate Chop is a single too So Hmm There's so much to this. Okay, let's start with this. So my favorite song on here is called Special. That that song is the shit. Um, I feel like never I always get satisfied, I always get dissatisfied when I hear never satisfied. Never satisfied when I hear that song. I won, I like I won. My mama is kinda like a better version of Tony Montana. The hook, I don't I don't I don't understand what the fuck he's really saying, but it's better. Uh, that dope, that dope is, I think, the best song on there on the on the album. Period. And then Lil Wayne got to some controversy. He said, um, he said he's gonna beat the pussy up like Emmett Till. And. <laughs> I don't want to go into that. Um, Y'all look it up because I feel like I'm a I'm a explain that situation the wrong way. Let's just go into the next album. So we got Dirty Sprite too. Now I heard from a birdie that Future has some songs lined up, and he either lost songs or somebody stole. Them. So he had to start over, and this is what he started over with. Which is considered his best album ever. Dirty Sprite 2. And when Future or when Drake heard that Future is doing Dirty Sprite 2, Drake said he had to get on it. Other than that, this this album would have had no singles. Yeah, every song on here hits. It, it really do. Every song on here hits. The only feature on here is Drake. So let's go to Evil. So Future's at the top of his game. Dirty Sprite 2. Incredible album. And um, dropped the ball with this album. Added a version of March Madness with Nas. You got The Weeknd, The Low Life, The Low Life album. I like Zanny Family. Um, I haven't really heard the rest of the song, so they just don't hit me like that, you know? Oh, so now we get to Future, his fifth album. Again, a bunch of songs that just don't really hit. There's only like one or two songs that hit. I kind of like got used to this. It it remind it it reminds me of it reminds me of the. The strip club I, 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 I used to go to or I kind of still go to. Um, just from being at the point from point A to point B, from being broke to be to having money, it, 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 it gives me it gives me a nostalgic feeling. Uh, I like so groovy. Mask off with Kendrick Lamar. I haven't heard the rest of the songs. They just don't they don't really hit. And then we got Hendrix. He dropped two albums at the same year, same time. This is more commercial. The future album was more trap. And as you guys can see, I was listening to Hallucinating. That's one of my favorite songs ever. Whenever I visit this album, that's the song I go to first. I usually like to hear... Did I go over the futures? Kendrick Lamar, Drake, YG for the future album. Uh, for Hendrix, we got The Weeknd, Mayor Hawthorne, Detail, Rihanna, Chris Brown, and Nicki Minaj. Oh, Baddest is a pretty good song. Uh, I usually like listening to how, how a Rihanna song would go and how, you know, the artist works with Rihanna. So I usually go to Rihanna Future just to hear it. Just be like, 
but it seems like most artists don't know how to direct Rihanna. Or it seems like they're just too afraid to tell her how to do things. And for both these for for both these albums, the the single there was no single on this album, I don't think. Not that I know of. Um on a future album, the only the only song that came became a single was uh Mask Off. And then we got The Wizard. Um, I know absolutely nothing about this album. I don't even know if they're singles. I don't know if what what um I don't know what what songs he decided to do. I was just I think I was in a weird spot. Cause I think this came out in the beginning of the year. I was in a weird spot at this time, so Let's go over the features though. We got Young Thug, Gunna, and Travis Scott. That's it. So I gotta visit this album. I don't even think I have a favorite song on there. Nah, not yet. Oh, it was, it was either it was either I think Rocket Ship Temptation, F and N, one of those songs. But um, yeah, this future, future Hendrix, leader of the trap, the new trap, leader of the new generation of the trap kids. I'm sorry, y'all, but um, let me know what y'all think about future. You like future? You hate future? Future works for me personally, but um, anyway, peace.